Hi, I'm Jeff, and today we're going to look how to share to your social networks such as LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter via server-side system. Now, if you've ever done this, it can be kind of difficult. You have to build against the APIs of each and every network. You need to get approvals. It really is a pain. And often you do want to post from your server side because you have internally generated content or external data sources, not something that's just going to be posted from a client side. So instead of having to write hundreds of lines of code, we're going to show how you can actually do this in just a few lines using Airshare. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up a node package or actually a node project. So you can use any language, you can use Python, you can use C-sharp, Rust, Go, language of your choice. In this example, we will exclusively use Node. So let's first make a directory social post. And then let's open up in that directory Visual Studio Code. Now the first thing we want to do is create two different files. First one is let's make a package, a JSON file, and in that it's always a good idea just to initialize it with an empty object. And the second thing file we're going to make is an index.js. This is just be our file that we'll be running all these samples from. Let's head back over to our command prompt and we want to install the client wrapper of Airshare. And it's called Social Host API. So with that installed, we can now use it within our index.js. Okay, now let's actually make an instance of this social post using the social post constructor. Now, within social post, we do have to pass an API key that's for your specific project and related to your social networks. So let's head over to a browser to Airshare, and this is all free, so you can start posting for free log in, create an account, and the first thing you'll be brought to is here are, your, here are the social accounts you can enable. Today we're just going to do two, Twitter and Facebook. So click on Twitter. We'll enable Twitter for us. And then we're going to click on Facebook. We'll ask for approval. And it'll ask us to select which page you want. If you have more than one page, you can choose the page that you want to post it. Okay, now we're set up with both Twitter and we're set up with Facebook. The next thing we need is our API key. So head over to API key in the left-hand panel, click copy to your clipboard, and now let's go back into our code and paste that API key in. The next step is getting the content you actually want to post. Now again, this can come from your own internally generated system, external data, wherever you find for your business relevant content that you want to push out to social media. So let's make a function to get post data. And in this, we're going to just return an object with a few pieces of data. First is the post data. So let's say we're going to post this is a great new article. Well, let's actually put in an article. Let's head over to ESPN. Let's grab this playoffs article, post it right here, and here we go. Now, that's a pretty long URL. So Airshare allows you to automatically shorten the URL, which then later on gives you stats about how many people clicked it, how many people viewed it. So all we have to do is to shorten links, true, automatically be shortened. The final 
thing we need to enter is platforms. And all this does is specify which platforms this post should go to. So we can have one and as many as we actually have enabled. So let's do it to both Twitter and Facebook. Okay, now the post data is all set. Now let's actually post it. Let's make another function called run. And in this, we are going to first get the content from our function. And then let's actually do the post. And po after you post, it does have a return. So let's capture that return. And all we're going to do is call dot post on social with the content data. And let's capture any errors. Let's not forget to make this asynchronous since we did call await. This will call social dot post. And there are social, you can call social dot delete, social dot history, many different things. You can look at docs dot airshare.com for more information. And let's now print out what the return was. And finally, let's call run. Let's save, head back over to our command prompt and call run the index file. And we see success. So the overall success, no errors. And here for each of the different platforms is what happened. Here's a specific Twitter ID, here's a specific Facebook ID, and here's the overall ID for the entire post that you did, which can be referenced later to programmatically delete the post via the API. Now let's see how everything looks. So let's first go through the dashboard and look at posts. You can see right here on post, this is the great new article plus a short URL, and we even give a preview of the video and the link to the article. You can see when it was sent and which platforms are sent, and you could even delete it right from the dashboard. Let's head over to Twitter and see how it looks. Here it is. This is a great new article with the actual posts right here. Let's go to Facebook, see how everything looks. Here it is. The Facebook post is right here. And let's say we made a mistake. Ah, we don't want to post that. Let's delete it. This can also be done via the API. And now it's gone on Twitter and it's removed on Facebook. Let's do one other thing. So instead of posting an article, let's post an image. We don't need short URL anymore, but we do want to have a URL of an image, which is takes an array of strings of URLs. You can also send base64 image if it's from your internal system. We also have unsplash integration where you can say choose a random picture, choose a random picture based on a keyword, or select your own. But right, let's keep it simple by just heading over to Unsplash and choosing an image by copying the address, pasting in the URL, send it still to Twitter and Facebook, save it, head back over to our command prompt, rerun node index JS, success, and we can see right here back in our dashboard, it has been successfully posted. The image is now in Twitter with our message, and in Facebook with the message. So with just a few lines of code, you can start posting, no need to 
do manual API integrations or approvals with the social networks. With this little bit of code, you can post to five different networks easily. Thank you so much. And if you have any questions, please reach out to us and put the comments below.